One of the main reasons that Christians should read the great books, even the pagan classics, even, even the great books that are not um, Christian in authorship or in their ideas. Um, one reason Christians should continue to read them is that Christians in the Western world always have. So if you go to the great minds, well-formed in theological teaching, they have engaged Plato and Aristotle and Homer and the other classics. Um, you, you can't pick up Milton's Paradise Lost and make much sense of it at all if you don't realize that he's interacting with the epic tradition that goes before him. So there's the influence answer. Uh, there's this great influence on Christian thought that makes it worth engaging the great texts for contemporary Christians. But the other one's just that they are proven classics. Um, lots of people have recommended that these are valuable books to read. If you ask a friend who you trust, what's a great book I should read, and they tell you something, that's great, um, but that's only one person who's near you and like you and alive at the same time. The great books are really a set of books that multiple generations in multiple cultures um, have all agreed, yes, that is worth reading. So it's like a, an extreme book recommendation.